What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today I wanna to talk about the thorn and the last word. So these are two weapons that I think are extremely overpowered in Destiny right now, specifically in the Crucible. Uh, we're gonna be talking about Crucible only today, so none of what I'm gonna be saying is applicable to the PVE at all. So the first thing I wanna talk about is Thorn. Thorn is right now probably the biggest candidate for a nerf inside the crucible now a lot of people are using it right now because it is such an effective weapon in the crucible and since the trials of osiris has come around what we're seeing is entire teams probably 90 percent of them i would guess that are just using thorn only and the reason that's a problem is because it lowers the diversity of destiny's crucible the greatest thing about Destiny is the variety of weapons, or it's one of the greatest things, is that there's so many weapons available and trying out all these weapons is a real fun thing to do inside Destiny. But right now, once you have Thorn, once you have the last word, what reason do you have to really pick anything else? There's other weapons that are really good. Hawkmoon comes to mind, Red Death comes to mind, but in my opinion, it's Thorn, it's the last word. Those are the two best weapons. now. What should we do? Should this be fixed? I think so, because I would like to be able to bring in auto rifles, scout rifles into the Crucible as my primary and not feel like I'm at a severe disadvantage to anybody who's using an exotic handgun. Now, the problem with hand cannons is that they do a ton of damage, they're very easy to use, and they are effective at an extended range. And I think that's the first thing we should look at when we look at the hand cannon, specifically Thorn and the last word, is the range. If we could pull back on that range a little bit, we could keep these guns very effective at close range, which is great. They should be effective. They're an exotic weapon, and I want them to be good. I'm personally in love with Thorn. I think it's a wonderful gun. It is one of the most exotic looking and feeling guns in the game right now but it's too effective at long distances. If we could pull back on that distance and still make it a very good weapon at close to medium range, then I think that we'd have a real winner on our hands and not something that is just absolutely dominating in the Crucible. Let's say that you get into a long range fight with a scout rifle and a thorn. A scout rifle, frankly, should win that fight all things being equal, but that's not how it is now the thorn is probably gonna win that fight. And frankly, the same could be said about the last word. The last word, to me, should be super effective at close range. It's very fun to use, it should be easy to pull out, use your hip fire and spray somebody down very, very quickly. It's time to kill is extremely quick when used in this manner. The problem I have with it is that it does not give anything up at long range. And that is a real problem. People running the last word are able to spray people down very quickly at close range, but then also kind of use it as a scout rifle, I wanna say, at longer ranges. It is very accurate, it's very easy to use at long ranges, and it fires extremely quickly, so you can actually spray people down at long range very, very quickly, and I think that's a real problem. So. For both Thorn, the last word, and hell, you can even throw Hawkmoon into that mix. Pulling back on that range is gonna make them still be effective at short distances, even medium distances, but give up something to scout rifles at long range or pulse rifles at long range. And I think that would create a more interesting meta and in the process, also create a new use for scout rifles, which really just don't feel like they're that useful in the metagame of Crucible right now. The next thing I'd like to take a look at is the auto assist aiming of these weapons. Uh, I think it's too high for hand cannons. Now, in the last weapon update, which was six months ago at this point, that was actually reduced. And I think that was a good thing, but I would like to see it further reduced. Right now, it just feels too easy to get headshots with a thorn, specifically two in a row. Right now, if you can lock on for that first one and fire that trigger very quickly for the second one, odds are that the gun is gonna auto aim that second shot to the head and you're gonna score that two shot head kill. And I don't think that's how it should be. If they reduced the auto aim on Thorn, what you would actually have to do is hit that first shot to the head and then take a moment to re-aim it for that second head shot. That would effectively slow down its time to kill. It may be by the numbers that the time to kill stays the same, but in most users' hands, it's going to effectively slow down that time to kill. 
I don't want to see it lose its two-shot headshot. I know a lot of people are going to argue with me on this point, but if it becomes, if Thorn becomes a three-shot headshot kill, it loses so much of its effectiveness that it will no longer feel all that exotic. The Mark of the Devourer perk with its damage over time will still have uses, but not nearly as much as it does now. So I'd like to see it remain as powerful a weapon as it is. So I don't want to see it lose that two headshot potential. What I do want to see is it lose that two headshot potential at very long distances and to make it more of a skilled play to actually achieve it. The last word I think could really use the range nerf. I don't know if it really needs the auto aim nerf. I think that uh, we should check it out, see how it plays with just the range nerf. I want that gun to be very effective at close range, but at longer ranges, it really needs that nerf, and I think that would be super effective. Overall, the thing I want to achieve here is to really make Destiny's Crucible a more interesting place to play. Have more weapons and weapon types viable for high level play, like in the Trials of Osiris. But right now, the game is dominated by just a few weapons, and I think that's a mistake, and I think it needs to be fixed as soon as possible. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think should be done about Thorn, if anything. Should Thorn be nerfed? Should other weapons be buffed instead? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.